Okay, today we will do art therapy for Parkinson's disease. As you can see in the video, there's a chair, a table, and a garbage can. These are the essential, most essential um, furnishings that we need during this activity. For demonstration purposes, we will do it um, solo. But in a real part, um, program, we can gather 10 participants or 10 residents with Parkinson's disease and they should be positioned in two meters apart to observe social distancing and they may use mask or any face covering especially this um, season anyways so we can start um, first gather all the materials that you need Okay, as you can see in the box, there's an apron, there's a uh, tissue or a napkin, there's a ball which you will be painting, and a palette where you can put the paint, the acrylic paint. Acrylic paint is good because um, it is washable. The next one would be the brushes, and then um, there are different kinds of brushes, so you have to um, prepare them. And then a water, a bottle of water or a cup of water. There you go. And that's it. That's just um, basic. So as you can see, just fixing everything. We already prepared everything now. Um, let us remind the residents to please wear their aprons. And then um, this apron will prevent the their their clothes to be uh, to have the paint all over their their clothes. There you go. While wearing the apron, please all the facilitator should um, re, uh, help them to. Uh, do so because Parkinson's disease they have tremors and everything so I hope um, the facilitators would provide um, assistance to them so okay we can start gather all the colors that you want put it in the palette okay so the resident is putting the color that she needs red and orange or red and green for Christmas So this activity actually is very okay with Parkinson's disease because it's not much. Uh, it doesn't like uh, need an effort to do so. You just do your, you just need your hands and they're sitting down so they're safe. But you are um, covering the physical domain, which is painting. Okay, now the resident can start painting their own balls. So they can design whatever they want. Please assist them if they are um, having problems uh, or they wanted a specific one. You can just ask them to uh, imagine and tell what they wanted to do. And then a facilitator can at least assist them. So this activity, art therapy activity, can cover two domains or three domains. Social domain, actually, because uh, they can do or the activity is a group activity while doing the artwork they can converse with each other but for this demo purpose um, one is just doing it anyways on the second domain as you can see she's using her fingers and arms so this is actually a good exercise for motor skills and um, it's safe because they're sitting down it's safe because as long as they are in social distancing, two meters apart, wearing a mask. And then the third domain would be um, cognitive domain because as, as, um, as they paint the boss, the Im their imagination is stimulated. They, they will think about um, what designs or what... Um, patterns that they wanted to paint on the balls and 
actually it is also um it can support emotional domains because where they while they are doing the christmas balls painting they can reminisce um the Chris, their christmas season or christmas times okay so lady love one of the facilitator of this program um what do you think is the disadvantage of this program art therapy for parkinson's disease so based on research there will be no disadvantages of this program unless there will be like prolonged sitting but this activity would take like 20 to 30 minutes so for that there is no disadvantages <laughs>